Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kayongo and I'm excited to be here today with you to talk about a couple of things. Today I just want to talk about regards to some of the books which I've been reading. To be great, you have to continue learning. Every year I have a target to read a couple of books, like a minimum of 25 books. 25 books is only easy, but like I do my best, at least minimum of 25 books every year to read. So I just wanted to share with you one of a couple of three or four books which have been so good for me this year. I read about the book uh, written by Darren, Dale, uh, Darren Hart. It's called uh, The Compound Effect. You know, in so many things, there are some principles which affect us, but the principle of compound effect, my God, it's, it's powerful. Because like, imagine you do a little bit of something every day, every day. If I'm scratching this paper every day like this, you see to turn a different color. You see my, something will happen to my nails. So you are having an impact on something every day. It reaches time it changes. Use the principle of compound effect in every sort of thing you're doing, you're trying to accomplish. At least do a tiny bit every day about that thing and you'll see the result on it. You may not say big result right away. This is something which you need to be patient. So implying in that principle with the compound effect, you succeed, you see results. But these are results which you're not going to just go and see in one day. These are results which you see in effect as time goes on. So that's one book which I am sharing with. Another book, uh, Shut Up and Listen. I listened to this book also in 2020. But again, I actually really listen it or read it. Listen and read. I do both. In 2021. And something tremendous which came into my mind last year when I was reading it. It's about like, there's so much stuff which I knew, but there was so much stuff which I still need to learn. So I said, no, let me give myself this year time. I was not even doing any videos. I was like, no, right now it's your time to shut up and listen. I was just listening, learning, self-educating, going to conferences paying for consultation, learning from the best. Like, it was my moment to listen and relearn and do what. Like, this book taught me something like that. Not only that, this book taught me about finances in the different dynamics. You see, when things are so good, we forget about getting protection. Then, when things are good, we remember to protect ourselves when things are bad. So, this big thing taught me, okay, when things are good, that's the time to get yourself a line of credit. That's your time to get, get yourself secured. Who can give you money when you need it? To make the right connection of people who have the right manpower of like buying power. So this is a time if you're like a writer, get the best writer. Connect with them and they will help you to create, give you a hint of an idea when you're stuck. This is a time for me when I, I had to learn from a lot of real estate people who are good and great. And I learned, okay, if I'm doing this deal, how can I do it better? Because they've done it when the decisions were good or great or bad. So in this book, I was learning that. And this guy talks about it really good. Check it out. It's called Shut Up and Listen. Uh, another one. I've been reading this like for the past couple of years, 10x rule. Since when it came out, I've been reading it every year. Because in my life, I like to 10x things which I'm doing. When you have one multiplier, like you, let me say, you have a dollar and you multiply it by one. It says a dollar. But imagine you multiplying a dollar times 10. It keeps being a 10 times 10. Every year, if you let me say you do a multiply of 10. See the impact. Use that multiply of 10x rule with a compound effect. <sighs> My God. That will be an, a big impact. I like the 10x rule. It gives me a good visual picture of growth. It gives me the principle of growth. So that I don't compete with people. For me, I, I tell all my people, like, we work with together and uh, we do business together. We don't compete, we dominate. And domination is the best key principle. When you compete with your competitors, you are doing whatever they are doing. We decided not to compete. We just dominate whatever we do. We just dominate. We get into your industry, we're going to destroy you. Don't have the fear of multiplication. No. It's there. It's there in your life and you have to do better. You have to do great with that multiplier. So I'm just telling you, friends, 
like do your best find the best principle in these books like as i've shared with you another uh, last one i'll talk about just atomic habits that one creates a good principle of good habits like you, you stand strong with your habits if you're a good reader build that habit like strongly motivate yourself Encourage yourself to surround yourself with people who encourage you to build that habit strongly. If you're a good speaker, surround yourself with people who like to speak and who like to speak great messages, who like to motivate others with their words so that your speaking is not just people hear it and they say, oh my God, this person just shouts. No, people just want to know, okay, you shout, but you shout with reason, you shout with capacity, you shout with great ambitions, you shout with great vision, you shout with great progress in words. That's what people want to hear from you. So with that, The Atomic Habit, it's a good book. Please check it out too. Uh, and more books I will continue sharing with you. Like for me, I tell people, don't just read book and say, I read this book. No. What principle do you copy from that book and put it in your daily life? That's what for me I do every day. I don't just read a book and I say, okay, I read a book. No, I say, okay, this book impacted me, created something great in me. Like if I have a vision, this principle which I got from, I got from this book, I applied it in my vision and my vision has become better than before. And I'm moving forward. I'm not saying the same. So like I, I, this book which I was saying about Shalap and Nilsen, I was like, oh my God. You see, who if I was not so well prepared in 2020 when it was here, what where would I be? So now even I learn so much how even to self-protect myself. Even if 2020 comes back, no one was prepared for it in the way it came. That's true. But you have to have a little bit of a shield to know how you prepare yourself. All those things happen. So be ready. Be prepared. Learn. Educate. Check out these channels like this, which are teaching you help, self-growth. Because you have to grow. I'm so strongly this year, next year, like about the vision. Because that's what keeps us going. That's, that's where you're seeing, that's where you're targeting, looking at. I will have a class about vision because uh, there's some key principles I want to, to, to teach you about how to build your vision, how to swing and set up the, the systems in place which track your vision. Thank you.